G'day everyone, uh, my name's Angie. I'm a born and raised country girl that's now living uh, on the beautiful Gold Coast, as you can see there behind me. Um, and this, this is my boy Davo. Dave the Great Dane. Dave, say hello. Good boy. And then we've also got uh, Shazza over here. Shazza the trusty 60 series Land Cruiser. These two are my pride and joy my world uh, a bit about me like a lot of people these days sadly i've uh, had my fair share of struggles with uh depression and anxiety uh definitely didn't want to stay that way so just sort of baby steps you know i had a big trip in my head that i wanted to do like a lap around australia but obviously that's not something you can do overnight so while i was waiting for that i uh managed to move myself down to the Gold Coast from Brisbane because didn't like Brizzy very much. Um, got myself a jet ski. So yeah, between the jet ski and the cruiser here, that got me out and about into social groups, which definitely helped me a lot. Um, getting big Davo. I can't even describe how much that helped me. He's, he's my saviour, to be honest. But yeah, so anyways, even despite doing all that, I still had uh, this big trip planned in my head. And for years, I just figured that there's no way I can do something like that by myself. Um, then all of a sudden, I just realised, like, bugger it. Why can't I do it by myself? So yeah, I um, started getting planning straight away as soon as I realised I could do it alone and there was definitely lots to be done. Uh, packed up all my belongings, pretty much everything I own except for my camping gear. Shipped that off to a storage shed. That was uh, definitely nerve wracking, but exciting. And yeah, had to obviously uh, take the plunge and work up the courage to quit my job. I was a postie, so had a government job threw it in in the middle of COVID, but you know what? If you don't take chances, what sort of a life are you living? That's what I reckon. With Shazza being such an old vehicle, there was lots to be done. So she had quite a few bad rust spots. So we started with that. As you can see, it was definitely a lot to be done. So I was without her for a while, but once I got her back, boy, did she look smick. Everyone, I was constantly getting asked if it had been she'd been re-sprayed, which she hadn't. So that was an awesome job done by the guys that I took her to. Uh, next up was getting new tires and rims. Uh, rims that I had and the tyres made poor old Shaz look like a roller skate so we couldn't have that um, but anyways yeah went for a more common size rim so that if I had any dramas on the road I'd have more options available to me um, yeah and made it look awesome went from going like looking like a roller skate to a chunky monkey Then after that, it was the last thing I got done was off to the mechanics to get an overhaul done before heading off uh, to somewhere as remote as Cape York. Uh, and that turned out to be a lot worse than I ever had thought it would. I'm a bit of a fan of um, camping on the beach and stuff in, in Shaz. So yeah, I'd done a lot of damage with that. Um, as you can see, what you're about to see, uh, yeah, lots of rust, rusty parts, rusty brakes, rusty shocks. Yeah, and yeah, the list goes on of things that needed to be done. So yeah, I was without Shaz again for another few weeks, but 
had to get it all hunky dory before we took off. So it was a job well done by the guys at uh, Hendra Motors. Got all that sorted, picked Shazza up again and was uh, in the final couple of days before departure. And uh, after having the radiator flushed after it hadn't been done for so long, it sadly let go of me. So yeah, that was another day behind. Had to go get a whole new radiator and viscous fan. But once again, all sorted now, so that's the main thing. Then I uh, had a bit of a drama with the new brakes. They just weren't quite feeling right. So it was back to the mechanics for that one. So that was another day behind. Then uh, after m the majority of what was wrong with the car being a result of rust, because I do like to go on the beach a bit, um, I decided to be sensible and put in a big day with my mate, um, getting Shaz all prepped to be able to go on the beach and be protected. So yeah, things like Tectal 506 that went all under the underside of her. New awning fitted, lanolin oil, um, tied it up a few bits and pieces. And then finally, everything was all sorted and it was time to hit the road. Yoo! Let's get this show on the road. Sadly, I decided not to take Big Davo to Cape York. That was for his sake, not mine. So many 1080 baits and crocs and everything up there, and he hates proper four-wheel driving. So our first destination was to my dad's place, where he got gets to get spoilt by granddad and hang out with my dad's great Dane as well. Yeah. So yeah, just the beginning of the adventure, guys. Heaps more to come, heaps more vids and adventures to be watched. So make sure you stay tuned for the rest of it. <laughs>